Hey folks, this is Nick Hawks with Gristle King. I'm gonna walk you through one of the confusing parts of helium, which is that the boundary of a res eight hex or any hex is often not where it appears to be on the screen. Let's take a look. We're gonna cruise over to helium vision. This is what I use for a lot of my placement assessment stuff. And we're gonna check out this um, hotspot right here. So what I've got is I've got the res eight pulled up. So these are res eight um, hexes. These are about a kilometer across. And if we're looking at this one here, this purple guy, is we'd say, oh, it's pretty clearly on the west side of this res eight line. So if it's gonna get assessed uh, for scaling, it's gonna be assessed as far as being a part of this hexagon right here. But that's actually not correct. And that's because every hexagon size, the area of that hex, so in this case, the res eight hex, is considered to be the sum of the areas of its child hexes. So in this case, the children hexes will be res nines. I'll turn on the res nines and you'll see what that looks like. So sometimes it gets confusing or it gets confusing pretty quickly, but what we're looking at, most of the time you would think that um, this, it would be the, let's see if I can draw a semi-straight line, right? This would be the line of this res eight hex. So here's our res eight hex right there. And you'd think like, oh yeah, that's the boundary. So if this guy is on the west side of that line, it's in um, this hex here, but you can see that the child hexes of the res eight, so these are res nines, actually go in and outside of that res nine or that res eight boundary. So when we're thinking about what the actual boundary of the res eight is, it goes all the way out to here. So that this hot spot here is considered to be a part of this greater res eight hex. Okay, same kind of thing applies at the um, res nine to res 10 level. So if we cruise down um, to this guy here, we can see like, oh yeah, it looks like it's outside of um, this res nine hex right here. So it's pretty clearly in this res eight hex, but that is not correct. And I'm sure you can guess why, is that it is, here's the res tens that are coming on. And we can see that the res tens in this case actually push that boundary out a little bit further. So if this is our res eight line, and this is our res nine line, right? Still outside of that, but this is our res 10 line. And so technically this hotspot here is considered to be a part of this res eight um, hotspot there. And that's how that stuff works. It's uh, sort of confusing when you start doing it, but as you kind of do it a couple times, you'll see that it becomes a little bit clearer each time. And it's always worth going in and checking this. You can see this on Helium Vision at the kind of individual hex level. You can also see it over on Hotspotty. They do all this stuff automatically for you. They're both great apps. You should try them both out. Oh, there goes my canine alert system. Time for me to go. Lights. Hey folks, thanks for watching that. I'm always excited to share Helium knowledge. If you're interested in learning more, I've built out a course for you that is based on hundreds of consults with clients, walking them through strategy, tactics, gear lists, all the things that make up the Helium ecosystem, which at times can be pretty complicated. If you want to check that out, cruise on over to the Gristle King website and look for this online course tab up here at the top right. Uh, once you hit that sucker, you'll go over to the Helium basic course and it's basically a one hour course on how to understand Helium. Yeah, cruise over there. Would love to see you there. Um, check it all out. And yeah, keep learning about helium. Rock on. Ciao, ciao.